Hello friends, now we see the problem number 6, which based on substitution method of chapter limits. The problem number 6 is a limit exchange to pi by 2 cosec x minus 1 upon pi by 2 minus 6 whole bracket square. Now let's see the solution. L is equal to limit x tends to pi by 2 cosec x minus 1 whole thing divided by pi by 2 minus 6 the whole square. Now we substitute limit as x equal to pi by 2. The next step will be cosec pi by 2 minus 1 upon pi by 2 minus pi by 2 whole bracket square. Now cosec 90 gives 1 minus 1 in the numerator upon pi by 2 minus pi by 2 the whole square in the denominator which is again of the form now 1 minus 1 gives 0 and pi by 2 minus pi by 2 gives 0 0 square again 0 so which is of the form 0 by 0 it means again this problem we have to solve by using method of substitution so for that purpose first of all we have to put x is equal to limit that pi by 2 plus h as x tends to pi by 2 and h tend to 0. So the next step will be limit h tends to 0. Now whenever x in the problem we have to substitute pi by 2 plus h. So we get cosec in bracket pi by 2 plus h minus 1 upon pi by 2 minus again for x we substitute pi by 2 plus h and finally the whole bracket complete and we write square in the denominator so that equal to limit h tends to 0 now cosec 90 plus theta gives us sec theta. So therefore cosec pi by 2 plus h gives sec h minus 1 upon. Now pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus h the whole square in the denominator. And that equal to limit h tends to 0. Now sec h can be written as 1 upon cos h minus that 1 I can write 1 by 1 in the numerator. And in denominator we cancel plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2. So we left with minus h the whole square which gives us on simplifying x square. Now we go for cross multiply in the numerator. So we have limit h tends to 0, 1 minus cos h upon cos h into x square. Now on the rationalizing in the numerator, we have 1 minus cos h the rationalizing term into 1 plus cos h upon cos h into h square into rationalizing term 1 plus cos h. In bracket we write on rationalizing numerator. So that equal to limit h tends to 0. Now 1 minus cos 1 plus cos. So that gives us of the type a minus b a plus b. 
which gives answer a square minus b square. So here we get 1 square, that is a 1, minus cos h, the whole square, gives cos square h in the numerator. Upon cos of h into a square into 1 plus cos h, we write as it is in the denominator. So that equal to limit h tends to 0. Now 1 minus cos square h by using trigo identity that sin square h plus cos square h is equal to 1. Therefore 1 minus cos square h is equal to sin square h upon cos h into h square into 1 plus cos h in the denominator. Now here we have to simply adjust the limit in the numerator and denominator. So the next step will be limit h tends to 0. Now we have the term sin square h in the numerator and h square in the denominator. From that we take square common. So in numerator we have a limit h tends to 0 sin of h upon h whole bracket square and then totally divide by limit h tends to 0 cos of h again into limit h tends to 0 1 plus cos of h in the denominator. Now limit h tends to 0 sin h upon h gives 1 the bracket square in the numerator limit h tends to 0 cos h again gives 1 in the denominator and 1 plus cos h so that gives 1 plus cos 0 that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 in the denominator so that is equal to 1 upon 2 as a final answer so this is required solution for the given problem Thank you.